Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be a quick one. We're going to try and get the rear splitter off now. Um, it's seen better days. It needs respraying. Uh, it's looking really shoddy. In fact, the car looks sh shocking, to be honest, at the moment. I'm really, really disappointed. We've got problem arising now. Uh, the cluster's causing issues, so I'm going to have to get that looked at. Uh, and the paintwork really is looking bad. Um, it's probably been at least a year and a half maybe a little bit longer since I did some of the paintwork um, and it's taken a beating going down the M25 every day so we are going to get the rear split off and um, I'm going to take you through that now we're just going to get that off I'll show you how to do that very briefly um, it's only two screws and just pull on the base but I'll show you that in a second and we're going to get that out we're going to get that in the house and try and sand it down and spray it over the weekend but the weather's about to turn by the looks of it so this week being beautiful um and the weekend bloody rain so we'll see if we can get this done in time to get on there's prep work that needs to be done for ford fair and uh, it'd be nice to have a nice looking reasonable car um but uh we'll we'll see what happens um oh by the way yeah heading to ford fair i can't wait so it'd be great to see all of you down there um soon so Come on, let's go and let's get this off and um, let's go and start before it starts to bloody rain. So today we're removing the rear splitter um, because it needs painting. I've already just sort of pulled it out a little bit, but um, yeah, it's all chipped along here. It needs a respray, and we need to get ready for Ford Fair. Um, so I'm going to take you to show you basically. Let me get underneath the car. If you've not done this before, so there's two, there's two screws, one that basically is on this hanger and one on the other side. Really simple, just undo those. Those two are the only thing that's holding this on, as well as the sort of clips at the back. Um, and then at that stage, once that's loose, um, you want to. Just come around the front and we'll see if we can do this and then from here you want to pull on this side and it will clip out pop out there we go and it pops out all the way along really awkward on my back but yeah it just pops out basically they're just little clips holding them in along the sides so it's really simple and that's just the plastic splitter so uh, and again when you put it back in you just want to marry it up with the holes a bit difficult doing it with one hand but marry it up and then what I would do is go from the other side and push it from the other side in to clip it in. But for now, we're going to take this off. As you can say, see, it's really badly. Um, this was in gloss black, but it's taken a whack over the last probably year and a half, two years. So we're going to get this sanded down. This is really bad on there. Flaking off. So we're going to take this back. We're going to give this a good sand. Um, sand down might try and remove the whole um, all of the gloss um, and start again see how we get on I mean the weather's just turned a little bit which is a bit annoying for the weekend but um, we'll see if we can get this done but uh, it gives me a great opportunity to we're gonna get these cleaned up um, because they're looking really shoddy uh, so we're gonna get that up clean all this up um, over the weekend, um, might have a look at some of the. See if there's any rust. I mean, obviously these are a little bit rusty, but um, just check out, you know, a few other bits and pieces. As I say, get this exhaust tips sorted. They look awful. Um, we see back here. We've just had new drop links. Got the H and R springs. And the uh, Bilstein um, 
shocks uh, but um, yeah looking a little bit rusty a little bit tired you know, could maybe do a little bit of restoration work just give it a sand down potentially spray it I'm not sure yet but um, I think our main concern is getting these tips done and getting this splitter painted and sorted because that looks awful so I'm going to head right onto the front of the car I need to get some number plates ordered this is just shocking really and um, the uppers taking a whack as well that needs to come out we need to respray this get that sanded and um, the surround for the Zun Sport uh, again it's taking a whack it's chipping off um, so this is going to have to come out as well so and not only that surrounds for the fogs they've also taken a whack this is motorway driving racking up the miles which is really disappointing in the car so I'm tempted to get a daily soon but she's seen better days um, and even even the vents taken or not looking too healthy so we've got a lot of work to do if we're going to try and get prepped for fast forward there's plenty to do um, to get this car sorted and looking better she's looking really horrible and dirty at the moment um, but today let's get this splitter back um, or I'm tempted to order a Maxton just be done with it um, but I think I'm just gonna have a quick shot with it see if we can restore it oh yeah and everybody while we're talking about it somebody decided to park their car and whack their door into mine thank you very much you might be able to see that it's given a nice scratch on the car and also dented it right on the seam line as well which is going to be a pain to, to sort um, so we've got that to get sorted um, and moving around the car quickly to show you things that need to be done um, when the car got broken into we had a nice little scratch down here um, the plastic on here got damaged and also where they used a screwdriver this plastic trim got damaged um, and a little chip on here so there's bits and pieces that need to be sorted I might get some um, covers this handle is looking a little bit dull not in the best of shape um, so yeah there's plenty to get on with uh, on this car oh gosh and yeah uh, let's let's not leave out alloys they're looking a bit chipped so um god well we're talking about things then go on then calipers need repainting so there's plenty of work to do uh on this car um what else oh they've got a little issue just down here uh where the um the double-sided tape basically these just underneath here you've got some double-sided tape that just sort of hold this fixes the to here this has come loose so that needs looking at and it's actually worse on the other side so i want to get that done before it you know it goes rain go too too crazy because you know there's a potential spot for rust uh and talking about rust um i've still got uh well common problem as most of us have is this area here so that needs to be looked at as well um before it gets too bad i mean it hasn't gone through but um it's definitely starting so plenty of work to do on this car um, we're going to try and get a few of them done over the weekend if possible um, but yeah let's get this back let's get started signing off guys signing off right so here we have the rear splitter looking very sorry for itself as you can see the paint has uh, come off it's taken a toll this is about two years worth now so looking pretty bad so I've just started sanding it down 
we'll take it right back and then it'll be prepped for um, a primer work and then glossing again so um yeah looking pretty bad and sorry for itself so let's get cracking right so I have given it a good sand um, as you can see taking this right down um, gone with a couple of different um, grades of sandpaper this doesn't come out too bad it's a little bit raised um, but we'll just give this a blast a couple of um, coats of um, primer before we do the main body of the whole rear splitter so we'll concentrate on these areas first to see if we can blend them in a little bit better um, this doesn't come out but too bad here's a little bit raised but that's as far as I want to take it um, you know without stripping the whole thing back uh, I think that's the best I'm gonna do here got a little bit burnt from the exhaust tips but again that's the best we're going to get it, I think. So hit that with a couple of different grades of sandpaper. And now we're in a position where we're just going to give it a wash down, clean it down now, and um, and then start prepping on the primer. Right, we're ready. Can of primer. Let's get this going. And uh, fingers crossed this comes out okay. as I say what I've done is I'm just spraying around the areas that are a little more exposed um, and where the chipping happened I am a little bit concerned as you can see um, whether this is going to take I mean trying to strip it back completely is a real pain in the ass so uh, we'll see we'll let this dry we'll go back over it again as you can see it didn't look too bad once it was dry but now, now I've hit it with some primer. So you just hear that could start to flake. So we're gonna let this dry for a few. Then we'll hit it again, and then we'll do the whole thing. We'll give it a good couple of coats, and then we'll sand. Uh, we'll dry sand it, or sorry, wet sand it, um, and see if we can get a good finish on it before we gloss. Okay, we've hit it with a couple of coats. Um, we're still having trouble with this area here, which we will work out shortly. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is hit it with another coat or two, and then we'll um, we'll wet sand. We'll see if we can take like this flaking out here. You can see that. There's a couple of that. That's is where it's sort of come down to the original plastic, so it's a little bit bubbly. So we're going to wet dry this, see if we can get it smooth before we move on to the next part. Obviously, giving it its final coats of um, of primer, giving it a, a final wet sand, and then hopefully prepped for uh, glossing. Right. So starting to hit it with a little bit of uh, wet wet and dry sandpaper, as you can see already it's um it's smoothed out this bit we had cracking here along here that smoothed that bit out i'll just show you on this bit here so you can see this cracking here so we'll just give it a light rub let's show you that how this kind of works with the wet and dry Take your time when you're doing this. Give you an idea. You see? So it takes that cracking out. So we'll continue continue through. As you can see, this is quite bad over here. Apologies for the fireworks, no idea what that's about. But we'll continue through. Um, so we'll continue the whole of this and then we'll go back over again with uh, the primer. So we can get it nicely blended in and then we'll we'll do the same again. Um, this is 2500 I think, 
just dipped in a little bit of uh, water, just shaked off and dried a little bit. And then as you can see, it's already looking so much better just by giving it a rub. Don't want to go too crazy though. As I say, we'll hit it with another coat and do the same again. So I'll probably just leave that now. But as you can see, it sort of just takes off a nice, brings it really, that's all you need, just a little shot and makes it really smooth. So, and this bit's rough, and then this is all nice and smooth. So let's get this going. Okay, so even after the first round of um, wet and dry, you can already see a huge improvement. Yes, there is imperfections, but um, they're now sanded down with a bit more blending in. Um, so we're now going to hit this now with another couple of coats and we'll re repeat the process. Right, so I've hit this with uh, a couple of coats now. Um, we are going to wet sand this in a moment. Um, hopefully we can get these imperfections out because I am worried about this when glossing. If I can't get those to a good state, we could be in trouble. Obviously the finish won't be great. It won't look like the rest of it. So there are some concerns here. But we'll see what happens on the next uh, wet and dry sand. We'll see if we can get these going to match the rest so it can look sweet. Hello, hello, welcome back everybody. Right, um, spent a little time just going back over the imperfections. You probably see it looks a little bit better blended in. Um, hopefully now we're going to hit it with the gloss. And um, I mean that's the best I'm going to get it. Unfortunately it's not perfect. But I'm not wasting any more time on this. If it doesn't work out then we'll get the uh, the Maxton rear splitter. But I had some spare spray paint so let's hope. This works out. Okay, so we've hit it with the first coat, um, but as you can see, I don't think this is gonna work out. Um, as I say, I could have maybe gone and got some filler, filled, sanded, which would probably have been the best idea. Um, Yeah, disappointing. Okay, update. Um, we've hit it with, uh, I think this is the third coat. Um, what I've done is I'm sort of overcompensating for the areas which are not in great nick. I'm hoping what I can do is build enough paint. So I'm going to leave the rest of it now just hit these areas a couple of times and then sort of give it one last final coat. Um, hopefully that will give me enough um, paint just to sit on top to kind of blend it in. That's the idea anyway. Um, but it does look so much better. It doesn't look too bad. Um, it might just have to do for the moment. But we're getting there slowly. Right everybody, it's the next day, we've just hit this up with uh, some lacquer, clear lacquer, giving it a wet coat, and so we are going to do another one or two, got a little drip there, bit of a shame, but we'll let this dry for a moment, really disappointed with this, but it is what it is. We'll get it a Maxton one on at some point, but we'll just finish this off, get this back on the car. But it doesn't look too bad. Right, hit that with the last bit of gloss, uh, lacquer, 
Look at that. Nice that's come out. Really nice. Get that on the car now. Right, good morning everybody. Um, we completed this yesterday evening. Um, it's come out not too bad. There is, you know, it's not perfect, but it's gonna have to do. We're gonna quickly get this onto the car now. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, basically, it's lining up the clips on here on the splitter, just with the inserts on here. Now, I'd push from the other side as well because there's a bit of flex in the bumper. So it just won't clip in because they're quite tight. So I'd hold from the other side as you clip it in. So we're just gonna get that done now. Right everybody, there we have it. Looks pretty good. And once we polish the car up, it should look really nice. Back in, as I say, best I could do, but looks pretty good. So we're good to go. We just need to get, there's two, oh, I'll show you those two small um, clips that need to go in so I'll show you that now okay so just on the hangers oh, right here we go just on the hangers here let it focus the hanger here there's a hole and you just got to put your You'll clip through that to secure it. So in theory, it should be fairly lined up. So look. Line it up onto the hanger like so, and then we use okay, screw that in. We go that now secures it to that side and we'll do the same on the other side right that completes the rear splitter in black gloss uh, lacquered and uh, looking pretty sharp to be fair I can't wait to wash the car um, so another stage completed for Ford Fair we continue the videos uh, keep you updated as we go along um, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one.